One of the main benefits of Cartograph for iPad is the ability to enable users to be able to perform all their job functions right in the field. Uh, one of these job functions that we know people perform is creating tasks in the field and also inventorying new assets in the field as well. In this scenario, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a new, new asset and then also performing a task against that asset. So on the left-hand side of the screen here, you can see this is a list of all of the assets that uh, I'm displaying that are near my current location. So if you look at the green dot here, that represents my current location, and all the uh, dots here represent all the water hydrants that are near my location. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a brand new water hydrant into our system. So on the top right-hand corner, we've got a plus button that if I tap on that, it'll bring me up a dialog box that allow me to create a brand new asset. So if I go ahead and tap on Create Asset, this will bring me up a guided process that will walk me through the process of creating a brand new water hydrant. So if I go ahead and select water hydrant here and hit next, the first thing it's going to want me to do is uh, record what is the location of that water hydrant. So by default, uh, the app will actually take your current location, uh, GPS location, and drop the pin at that location. Uh, I can actually go ahead and zoom in here, and if I wanted to uh, fine-tune and maybe uh, move that pin, I also have the capabilities as well to set that location uh, of that asset. So once I've moved that asset, it's where I want it. I just go ahead and hit Next. I can then now fill out any of the location information that I have. So some of this information came by default based on uh, where the pin was dropped. So if this looks okay, I can go ahead and hit Next. Uh, now on this screen, this is where I can fill out any of the detailed attributes about this particular water hydrant. So if I wanted to fill out uh, what is the model of that hydrant, uh, the manufacturer, uh, body color, etc. Whatever information I have of the asset at that time, I could populate right here in the field. Uh, one other feature that we have as well is uh, there's a barcode scanner button. So if my asset, for instance, has a unique uh, barcode tied to it, I could utilize the barcode scanner on the iPad to go ahead and automatically populate that uh, unique ID into the ID field for that asset. So once I've filled out all of the pertinent information that I have at the time of creating the asset, I just go ahead and hit the Save button. Once I hit the Save button, that'll take me to the asset detail, and this asset has now been added into the Cartograph system. So from here, if I can review all the information, all the details that I just previously filled out on the previous screens. Now that I've actually added that asset into the system, my next step would be to add a task to record that I installed this new hydrant into our system. So very easily in the top right corner, we've got an Add Task button. If I tap on that, that'll again bring up a guided process to create a new install task against this specific water hydrant. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the activity of Install. I'm going to choose the dates of today since we worked on this today. Once I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit Next. That'll bring me to a screen where I can actually reassign or assign someone else uh, to this particular task. So by default, uh, you'll see that I am actually assigned to this task because I'm the one logged into the iPad. But if I wanted to add uh, another laborer to this particular task, I could, I could do that as well. Or I could remove someone on, off this task as well. So once I'm finished reassigning the labor, I can go ahead and hit Save. The iPad will automatically take me to that task I just created, which will allow me to easily uh, record my labor, equipment, and materials that I spent to uh, install this water hydrant. So I could go ahead and record that I worked on uh, this uh, installation for an hour. I could also record the equipment I used. Again, I track the usage as well for that and also the materials that I use. So I'll go ahead and find the material I used, and then the quantity automatically populated for me. Once I finish recording my labor equipment and materials, the next step would be to go ahead and save, and then go ahead and complete this task. Once that task has been completed, if I wanted to go straight back to my assets list to look at uh, any other assets or add a new asset in the system, very easily I can slide out from the left side of the screen tap on the Assets menu here, and I'm going to be taken right back to where I was before, to my Assets list. To recap, we've gone through the process of creating not only a brand new asset in the field, but also creating a new task in the field against that asset. The value of this really is that it allows users to have the ability in the field to perform their work without having to go back into the office to perform many of these functions.